Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to do graphic liner. We're gonna do a simple look today. This look will be good for Valentine's Day, so if you want to use this tutorial on how to do graphic liner and at the same time learn a look for Valentine's Day, great. I am talking a little bit quiet because I'm losing my voice and it's early in the morning. So hang in there with me. Today we are going to do a stacked liner look. So it's pretty simple. It sounds difficult, but it's not. You're just going to put a regular wing on your lash line. And then in your crease or right above your crease, you're going to do another one. But you're not going to make like a wing out of it. I mean, you could with this look. We're not. We are going to add eyeshadow to this look. And it's going to be pretty much all pink. Valentine's Day. So I'm going to use this Shane Dawson Jeffree Star palette. I know there's a lot of controversy. If I can even say that word. But I love the colors in this palette, so I'm gonna use that pink one. And probably go in with that one as well. And I already did my base, which was foundation, moisturizer, primer, all of that. So the only thing left are my eyes and my lips, pretty much. So I'm taking the lighter pink, and I'm just going above my lid with it. Now I'm taking a different brush, it's flatter, and going in the crease. And we'll blend this with the lighter color. Now I'm blending it with the lighter color. So now I am gonna take a I'm gonna take my concealer. You don't have to do this, but I want it to be kind of like a cut crease. And with this, I just put the concealer on the back of my hand. Like that. But I'm going to cut it a little bit more. But I'm going to do the other side first. I am just going with the shape of my lid, not trying not to get it above where my crease is. I'm going to kind of make a wing out of the concealer, if that makes sense. And it's okay if some gets on your lid because right above where we're putting this is going to be the graphic liner. Okay. I'm gonna take a white to set it. I'm gonna take this white in the same palette. Now I'm probably gonna make a TikTok of this look. So if you wanna check that out, I'll have my TikTok in the description. Now that line that I got concealer on is bothering me. So I'm just gonna fill it in a little bit. Now we're gonna get into the graphic liner. What you need for the graphic liner is graphic liner. I did a review on this and that should be the video before this one. If you haven't checked it out yet, what are you waiting for? Well. Check it out right after this video. 
what do you want is a palette or any liner. It doesn't even have to be a palette. I'm sh pretty sure that NYX makes a colorful liner and you can use that. But if you're using a water activated palette, you're gonna need water. And then a brush. What I'm gonna try, I wanna take some eyeliner that has been dried out and use that brush. This brush is the super precise filler. I'm gonna clean this all the way and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I think it's all clean. You will also need a paper towel because if you have a palette like mine, it's kind of like watercolor. And if you want to go into a different color, you're going to have to wipe it off with a paper towel. So I'm just going to dip into pink, get my brush wet. That's the pink. And I guess this is not, my brush was not cleaned all the way. It's, it's okay. I'm just going to test this on the back of my hand real quick since my brush wasn't clean. Looks pretty good to me. So now I'm just gonna do my eyeliner like usual. I like that, but I want it thicker. So I'm gonna go in again and make it thicker. I'm just following the line of the cut crease with my wing. Like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. So you have your regular pink laying it down. Now I'm going in with that pink and doing the the eyeliner. Just going with how I did the cut crease. Like that. And now I'm gonna go back in and make it thicker. I made it too thick right there, but it's okay, we can work with it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go under the wings that I made on the bottom and outline it with this darker pink. I'm also gonna go on my lash line a little bit more and use this darker pink. And I'm gonna go under my lower lash line with this pink. Now, I extended the wing over here. I'm gonna do that to that side as well. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the top and then finish applying mascara and I might put false eyelashes on and I'm gonna do my lips and then I'll be right back. This is the finished look. So, I just added mascara and more blush and lipstick. This is the lipstick I used. And this is the mascara. I hope you have a good day, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.